All right. Welcome to the Cloud Brothers. Here we are. We're live. Right We're live to tape. All right. Excellent. You got a you got a jingle? WKRP. No, I was I had one on the guitar, but uh, I thought about bringing it and then forgot about it. Cloud Brothers, uh, Cloud Brothers, excellent party time. Um, we got a special guest today, though. Who's your special guest? Oh. Um, uh, oh, what's that guy's name? Hawkins, Stephen Hawkins. Gonna talk to about, talk to us about Kubernetes. Oh, the Amazon Elastic Kubernetes Service (EKS) is the AWS service for deploying, managing, mm -hmm. and scaling mm -hmm. containerized applications with Kubernetes. We know that already. In this tutorial. You will deploy an EKS cluster using Terraform. Then, you will configure Kubelet to using Terraform output to deploy a Kubernetes dashboard on the cluster. So, so, you, that. so you, ah. heard, you heard it here first on the Cloud Brothers. The official ah. way to pronounce Kubernetes oh, yeah. is Kubernetes and Kubernetes. Cube, and yeah. cube, and cube because Stephen yeah. Hawking was a guest on yeah. our show and he's the smartest man in the world, me uh, rest in peace. Correct. All of those things are true. Yeah. Um. Anyway, jokes for more quality content like that. Like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to get more quality content like this. Yeah. Um. Uh, I'm gonna do a review. Actually, what I, I distracted myself with my jokes. <laughs> well, somebody's got to laugh yeah. at him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Can do a quick review of what we did last week. All right. And then, um, thinking of doing uh, the Kubernetes stuff with Terraform. Okay. So, uh, the recap. You can skip the recap and go to uh, what are we? Go to five. Go to five minutes, and you'll miss the recap. All um, right. So I actually took the thing that we did last week, which yes. was an hour. Mm -hmm. And did put it into this um, repo. Oh, okay. We should so... get a we should get a Cloud Brothers repo going somehow. Yeah, here. sure. But for mm -hmm. now, for now this is where this goes. Um, but yeah, I put the link in the description mm -hmm. for this one because this should take you about uh, ten minutes. Okay. To do all these things, to get it all mm -hmm. set up and running and. Uh, I will I, make a note. If you remember the the ports thing, right? I do. From last from last time, where mm -hmm. I had these mismatching. Um, the Flask default port is five thousand, mm -hmm. and some other things. There's like Apple services that run on port five thousand by default. Oh, um, okay. Found that out the other day. Yeah. Um, so uh, you can either disable your Apple thing, and or if you can't disable the Apple thing. You change the port, but I made it 50 50 because mm -hmm. you know my standard joke. 50 yeah, 50. hindsight is 50 50. Yeah, exactly. right. standard. Um, yeah, anyway, we cool. won't go through that. Um, uh, if you want to yeah, go little... through what if you want to go through this in, in detail, watch the stream immediate or the recording immediately before this one or this one. Yeah. Our, our what was it docker container success like yeah that. double success double, double success, success is how it starts um i can uh, probably do what those uh, people do and put a link the video right uh, right there yeah if, if you want to jump over there and look at it and then look back at this github if you're trying to figure it out it's uh, fully yeah. explained in detail on that one yeah mm. and um there's assume, there's some assumed knowledge here that you know what a Docker file is and you know what Git is and all that stuff. But yeah, and we explored that in previous things too, but I don't remember the titles quite a few weeks ago now. <clears throat> yes, uh, you don't know Git. You, you don't, don't know Git. You don't know Git. Actually, one. I don't know if we have that. I don't know. That's a, um, that's a good joke. If we don't, we will. All right, so that's that. Uh, I mean, I know just from experience and from testing it and doing the code that that'll work in about ten minutes. So, 
Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just going to put that aside. That was like the recap. Yep. Uh, Ooh. So uh, what I wanted to do, I started looking at this today. Um, it is doing Kubernetes with uh, Terraform. I have a lot of the things done already. Okay. But, uh, think actually not not sorry not as the um, code but like the setup and stuff. I already got yeah. the AWS account okay. and all that. Yeah, 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 so, yeah, yeah. Um, think the plan is just to go through this and see how far we get. All right, thrill me. And Let's go. Right. But I had one other thing though. What's that? Um, I was thinking of doing this in uh, uh, Google just because. Terraform doesn't matter what the cloud is, right? Mm -hmm. It's a whole big yeah. Big so deal about it, Terraform. it's not Terraform. not AWS. So it's not going to be on GCP. Uh, no, because no, because I read this part, which is uh, Google charges Google Cloud charges about ten cents per hour management fee for the JKE cluster, mm -hmm. uh, and AKS. They decide to put the dollar sign instead, but it's the same amount, ten cents per mm -hmm. hour for the EKS cluster. And huh. I'm more I'm more familiar with AWS. You're more familiar with AWS. So sure. uh, if it's going to cost the same, I'm picking AWS. Oh well, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Sir. Uh, so that I've got done. This I've done already. Mm -hmm. uh, this I've done already. Configured this. I yeah. You configured the CLI and all that stuff, which uh, like, yeah, another okay. assumed knowledge you have access, you know, what a AWS profile is and, uh, you know, how to access programmatically, uh, through the AWS CLI. Mm -hmm. and, and if not, uh, Google it, look up a yeah. cloud oh. brothers video, not actually, I don't think that one exists anymore. I think that got deleted the early days. Really does. All right. Mm. Um, I'm going to flip back and forth just so I can make this uh, as large as possible. Yes, sir. On the screen. Um, well, actually, yeah. So I'm going to go to that one. What I have? Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's get out of there. What, uh, you're working. Oh, oh yeah. You're working on uh, your MacBook, right? Uh, this is the Mac Mini. Oh, the Mac Mini. Okay. Um, actually, we don't need any of this. Zoinks. But I am mm -hmm. going to do some better stuff here. All right. Uh, so I didn't copy that, I don't think, or maybe I did. Check the tape. <laughs> Whoop. What happened there? Oh, I, uh, I, I, I set off a clown. Home. Oh, I already, I already had it. We, oh, we. Get clone. I only need get clone once. I had the get clone in there already. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. So mm. CD learn. CD learn. Terraform learn provision and... EKS cluster. Yeah, and I'm gonna do a trick here. I think. I hope. And do code. No, I can't do that. <clears throat> Darn all damn it to heck. Demonetized. Uh, we got to get monetized for us to get mon demonetized. That's okay. So until yeah. then, we can swear up a storm. Uh, no, not, not today. Get too distracted when I swear too much. Um, all right, I'm going to close all these things. A I don't cyclone of hex. Don't want to save that. That was a mistake. Uh, what is okay, going so did, on right now? I did that already. Which one? Uh, you I did this one. You got to explain what you're doing. I did, and I did this one. Okay, I'll, do, I'll explain what I did because I did it already. Mm -hmm. uh, I cloned the repo. Yeah. Yes. And CD'd into the directory. Okay. And what's not on here is that I opened up a folder and added the folder, uh, this folder 
to my uh, Visual Studio Code workspace. And you do mm -hmm. that by right clicking and going add folder to workspace. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. So that's All right. One. Okay, that's where we are. <clears throat> Uh, and then it just looks like it goes through each one of the code, each one of the pieces of code, and tells you what it does. So that's the VPC, that's the security group. So we'll go through these quick, and then just go through them in the code. Because yeah, fair enough. Anyway, okay, I, I'm picking yeah, up what you're putting yeah. down. I see your process. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Vision all resources auto scaling group. So that's the cluster, the Terraform. Using the EKS module, that means there's a module in there somewhere. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, contains three nodes. So you have the two uh, two nodes here, one node here for your auto scaling group. Yep. Outputs, which is your output versions, which is the version of the Terraform uh, that you need, and then Terraform. And it uh, the, all the rest of this is standard Terraform stuff, but we'll just I'll sh we'll go through the code and then we'll start running these commands. Okay. Uh, so VPC. Yes, sir. Uh, VPC dot TF. Yeah. So this is a Terraform. Mm -hmm. uh, it's doing in US East two for some reason, but that's fine. Yeah. Uh, and then. This is uh, using a, a module, mm -hmm. a Terraform module, which I don't quite know enough to explain, but uh, Terraform modules make things easier for stuff. I don't mm -hmm. know best I can explain that. Uh, and so it's module, the VPC module, da -da -da, and then this stuff and the subnets, and I just, you can You're not gateway, check it out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. and then there's the versions of all the things, uh, which uh, just I guess it uses random for something. It must hmm. security groups. Security security groups. Mm -hmm. uh, output, which is the output of all the things after it makes everything. Mm -hmm. uh, Kubernetes. The, that's the actual cluster, I guess. Kubernetes dashboard, uh, I guess this has the dashboard in it. And the EKS cluster, which is the thing we were just looking at on code. And that's it, pretty much the whole thing. Okay. So we can go back, so we can go back to, or maybe it's in the readme's, maybe in readme. Uh, no, it's not in readme. Fine. Um, so you go back here, and then these are standard Terraform commands. I don't need to copy that command. I know it well enough to do a ter Terraform init. I don't, oh, actually, I've never showed you Terraform before, have, it, have I? Well, you, well they, yeah, we, we, we've been through it. But... Okay. Sorry, I've been through it. Oh. I, I went through it off stream. Oh, okay. Okay. You didn't show me it. No, I don't. I don't think so. Okay. I was yeah, playing I with think that. I only showed you, um, uh, what was that one? The, uh, oh, I can't remember. It's, it's, it was the, the AWS specific one though. Mm -hmm. CD, CDK, CDK, cloud development kit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did something with uh, Terraform. I think it, uh, it, probably one of the, probably one of the courses. I think it was one of the courses. Yeah. yeah makes sense. They were probably introducing you to infrastructure as code. And, yeah, it's exactly what it was. And, it might, and my, sorry, yeah. it might have been in the Udemy yeah, course. Ahead. It might have been the Udemy course because it was 27 hours long. So I'm sure it was probably in there somewhere. <clears throat> Although it could have been another one too. All right. So going to work from here. I'm not going to look at code here because I don't need to yet. So I'm going to yes, make the terminal bigger. Mm hmm. And then just make sure I'm in the right directory, even though I can see it there. Mm. Just double check. Yep. And then Terraform, Terraform, and it. And then yeah, downloading modules. So I think modules are like blueprints that 
if you everybody everybody needs a VPC, right? Mm -hmm. So they have a standard VPC module that has agreed upon standards or something like. That. So initializing back end, initializing yeah. uh, Terraform yeah, has been initialized successfully. Yeah, and I already know that it will say Terraform plan, but I'll go back to it to show you that it will say Terraform plan. And that all looks exactly like... Uh, yeah, that's what happened. What, yeah. Just oh, couple. they actually don't have a Terraform plan. They just quit go to Terraform apply. All right, fine. Mm -hmm. Yep. Provision the ECAS cluster. I was incorrect. Sad trombone horn. Oh, I got, I got that. You're welcome. Uh, so this should start giving us some output. Yeah, there you go. Uh, nice. And if you you remember this from yours, this is just a lot bigger from what it's going to do. Mm -hmm. And then just always yes, you type out yes for Terraform, and then it starts doing stuff. Now we have to uh, stretch it out because I got nothing to talk about while we're waiting for this. Uh, oh, we could, man. Could, could go over these things now that we're waiting. Actually, I could keep an eye on it. Yeah, you were, went through that pretty fast. So um, what things are you talking about exactly? Hang on a second. I'm going to get this so I can keep an eye on both. <laughs> oh my gosh sorry about that I put this weird breathing sound on a while ago I didn't realize it was running for the last five minutes oh oops because I could sorry. hear a... no, it wasn't you it was like <sighs> but you couldn't hear it I could it's, it's, not, it's not that loud it just kind of if somebody is watching, they're going to think Mike Myers, Michael Myers is standing behind them from Halloween movies. Wee! Wee! What is happening right now? You may begin working oh. with Terraform. Yeah, so I got two things going. One is the I'm keeping an eye on the Terraform resources being created down here. And mm. I am also going through up on this one. Um, this is the uh, tutorials section of the HashiCorp website mm -hmm. for Terraform. And this is their Kubernetes stuff. This oh, is I all see. their Kubernetes things. Mm -hmm. So they have the Azure one. Oh right. yeah, and mm. so every every major cloud provider has a Kubernetes solution of some kind. Well, of course, yeah. And I think uh, I think AWS was the late the late to the party for Kubernetes, but hmm. that went once EKS came in. Uh, Kubernetes was like solidified as it, right? Because mm -hmm. uh, I think if you want to do multi-cloud stuff. Kubernetes is, I don't know, pretty much the only way you can do it. I don't know. But you can have a Kubernetes cluster and you can have a resource. Actually, that's just a resource thing. Well, yeah, I, think, I, yeah. I think Kubernetes is cloud agnostic anyway, but it's just showing you how yeah, to do correct. it. Correct. <clears throat> yeah. So, what's, so I, get, I bet Azure's is 10 cents. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hey, they're, they're price fixing. They don't say anything about how much it's free. No. And then what's this little section? Telling you why you should do it. That's if you don't know why you should be using infrastructure as code. Oh, um, there's, there's homebrew information. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, figure the provider. Anyway, I just want to go over like uh, the details. The details. Oh, so console and Vault are Kubernetes things as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think console is a key value pair thingy. 
Yeah. Uh, like like Elastic Cash kind of or Redis, like a Redis database. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Vault, I think, is uh, Vault is like secrets, like passwords. And... Hold on a second. Yeah. Huh? Let's wait a second. Yeah. And we me... are recording again. Sorry, I had to take All a right. little siesta. All right. Whoa. So, we're, okay. sorry, what were you saying? It's like a key value pair for like AWS uh, memcache. Hang on. Something happened to my terminal. Oh, no. What the heck? What happened? Is it because is, is it because I paused it? I'm just no. kidding. I'm just kidding. Obviously, it wasn't because I paused it. Terraform EKS cluster. It like, what's the what's that? What it there should be stuff here. Uh, not not happy with this. How come uh, there's an exclamation point on it? What's that I'm mean? Sure. Um. Move terminal. Oh no! Oh no! That. Oh. There you go. Um. It's off screen too now for me because I could see everything was within in the limit. Hang on. Yeah, hang on. My fault. I wasn't sticking to the the aspect ratio. I just can't. I can't. I can't see the stuff on the left hand side. So this yeah. is where you're clicking now. There you go. I know yeah. you I know you can't see the return feed. There you go. Uh, all right. So I think the nice thing about Terraform is that you don't have to do all the stuff that's done already. Mm hmm It just I was thinking I actually wrote it down today. Uh Terraform manages the state of your resources. I think that's what it does. Mm -hmm. And every time you run it, it refreshes the state. See how it says refreshing the state? Mm -hmm. And because the state is the same as the state that it expects, it mm. just moves on to the next thing. I see. Uh, yeah. Not going to screw around anymore. We'll just have to watch this. Yeah, just watch it. Just watch it. If it takes too long, I can always... If it's taken 30 minutes, I can pause it. <gasps> Enter a value. Yeah. Oh, my crap. What's this? Oh, yeah. Hey, that was my fault. I, would, I took my eye off the ball. Mm -hmm. I was supposed mm -hmm. to type yes. I didn't type yes. But what, then it timed out? No, it, it will only take yes. Oh, I think I put... So you I think I put Y. Uh -huh. Oh no, I did type. Oh, I did type it right. Oh, already exists. Uh, uh, all right. Does it? Does that mean it's making it? I don't know. I am but an egg. As you can tell by this lovely shape right here. Here. Um. Ah. Ah. U.S. East 2, which is Ohio. Ohio. Oh, yeah, creating. So because the other one, because um, it's because my, yeah, my terminal screwed me up. All right. So I think... Yeah, I'm going to redo it. All right. So Terraform Destroy. I've, yeah, I've definitely done this before. <clears throat> yeah, Terraform's pretty simple. It's the mm -hmm. same five to eight basic commands. Yeah, man. Like simple it. steps. Ter Terraform is way better than uh, CloudFormation. And I'll stand by that. You know that sign where it says where the guy has the thing in front of the table. Mm hmm. Prove me wrong. Change, change my mind. Oh yeah, yeah change, my mind. Wrong, change, change my mind. Change my mind. Change my mind. Yeah. 
the I would one hundred percent have the Terraform is better than cloud formation. Change my mind. Change my mind. Yep. <clears throat> And then there will be somebody else standing there going, Helm is better than both. Change my mind. <clears throat> oh, this is going to take longer. You might want to pause. Actually, yeah, pause this. Pause. Okay, let me, let me pause for the cause. We'll be right back to you. Same bat time, same bat channel. In what? Five, four, three, two, one. And we're back. Um, all right. What happens? It's probably gonna, it's gonna take a while, so I'm just gonna change the cluster name to EKS two. Oh, and, fancy! And open up another terminal and start it again. Okay. Fair. What's going on here? Is... I don't know. Oh, I did need oh. those. What the heck am I doing? I have no idea. I got three. Oh, I see what's going on. You got three terminals open? Yeah. I only need two. Okay, that's fine. I can close this. Okay, I got it. I'm under, under control now. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't have to do Terraform init again. Uh, I don't think. Should be able to just do Terraform apply and it should pick that name up. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's try that. Oh, oh. ah, crap. All right, all right, all right. I can do something bad here. Oh, no. Which is, which is, I'm just gonna ignore this for now because of the recording. I'm going to put the lock equals false at the end, which is uh, the state thing. All uh, right. There's a better way to get out of it, but I don't feel like Googling it right now. Fair. So I'm just going to go with that. The VPC is already made. The security group's already made, so it's making some more... Enter a value, yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to go yes. And I shouldn't touch anything. Because when I move stuff around, it broke. But I'm not sure how long this is going to take. So you might want to pause it and then we'll come back. We'll pause it for the yeah. cause it. We are unpaused. We paused and then we unpaused. Um, because we're, we are back in first position. So what are we doing? Uh, yeah, I deleted the clusters. So I'm starting again. Terraform destroyed. Uh, yeah, I actually, had, I couldn't wait. I did it manually. The Terraform was taking too long. Okay. But I've reset all the Terraform and reset the EKS thing. So. Okay. So we're doing that uh, again. I need to do Terraform and knit. Terraform in it, yes, sir. Have a beverage, have a Cloud Brothers coffee. Yep. Oh yeah, I was thinking about some making some, making some Cloud Brothers okay. merch in the in my merch store. I love. Uh, I'd like the one for uh, no one hates K it's. No one hates K it's man. Yeah. 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 That's good. And you're correct too. If if the computer calls it Kubernetes, I'm calling it Kubernetes. The computer is never wrong. Kubernetes and Kubernetes. Yeah. I I really so I, sh I, sh I really I shouldn't enjoyed... get any air. I shouldn't get any errors here. It should okay. just start doing. It. I did enjoy how the uh, computer said Kubernetes, like it didn't even try to go cube CTL. It just went. Cube kettle. Cube kettle. Yeah. Kettle. Like that's that's a dedication to your craft. Good job, computer. Yeah. Uh, I'm afraid to move this now. Oh yeah, crazy couples. Amber Heard and Johnny Depp defamation oh. case. Yeah. She. He's gonna win. He's gonna win for sure. Oh man, what's going on here? 
Oh, I'm gossiping about celebrities, and you're getting Conflict. and you're getting errors. Oh. Yeah, terraform destroy again. Oh man, take two. Okay. Wow. What? Yes. Okay. Did you just destroy it and then recreate it? Well, it's taking forever to destroy the cluster, so I manually destroyed the cluster mm -hmm. and then that was uh, uh, and then ran terraform uh, destroy, mm -hmm. which is looking for everything that's just just deployed already with the previous one and um, tearing it down. All right, and because the because the cluster is gone, it's already on the VPC, and the VPC will take a little bit, but it won't take forever, or okay. shouldn't take forever. Cool. All right. Yeah. So I'm basically uh, just using Terraform to get rid of everything. Go Terraform. Go Terraform. Yep. Um, Another thing I could do too is change regions. Yeah, that's true. One is the lonely. Still destroying. Yeah, but I go. So what I like to do destroy, is go and destroy. Go I have to go see what's going on. In your VPC, the in the console. Available, available. Yeah. yeah, and this is the one that it's trying to delete. And it's taking too long for it to delete. So it's just the API call. Unable to delete. How come? Because it's already in the process of deleting. So it says? No, that would be my guess. So, like, you put Terraform destroy it. You might have just done it yeah. right as it's trying to, like, while you're looking at it. It might have just done it. Like, if you refresh, maybe I don't know. My button egg. Um, what's it say in there? Is it just still going strong? It says still. Yeah, it just says still destroying. Still huh. destroying. Still destroying. Why wouldn't it let it delete then? Right. Like, well, I don't know. I just take. It might just take long, and I have no patience. Yeah. It might be just, it takes a few minutes. I really, um, hmm. Because, um, like if I was doing this for work, something. Yeah. I would just, uh, do this and go for lunch or something or work on something else. Oh, well, fuck it. Let's go for lunch. Huh? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Let's go. That's, by the way, demonetized release. That was F U G. Yeah. I T. So get your minds out of the gutter and no demonetizing nuts. Jeez. <clears throat> Good one. Hey, what's that say? Status code 400? That's bad. That's a bad mamma jamma. That's the same error you had before. Error deleting security group dependency violation. Resource security group has a dependent object. So that means what I think it meant. That's what I was trying to say before. There is some other thing that's using that security group and because it's active in the other thing it won't delete that security group for you so if you want to delete the security group i think you're gonna have to go in and look at the security group and delete it yourself and then it might say uh, i can't it might say you can't delete because security groups connected to this and then yeah um usually it tells, it, usually it tells you usually what, says that though when, when you go in here yeah that's what i'm saying when you go in here and you go uh, did, action. Did you happen? 
Did you happen to see the security group though? Because it's the security group is what's preventing you from deleting. Oh those two. no, actually, it's not the security group. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that is one of the it, issues, but this is different. Yeah, this is. Uh, it doesn't. It has one E and I, which is in use, and it has one NAT, which is in use. So, so I need to get rid of the E yeah. and I. And the E and I may be using the security group. So it might all be connected. Or the NAT gateway. Uh, uh, that's in VPC, right? Uh, yeah. 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 Uh, okay, so it deleted one of them. Yay! But I won't let it delete this one. What's going to tell you the same thing? I can, oh, I, I can it's hear it's deleting now. Good. Hear. Okay, good. Yeah. If I go back to the, and then the other one was the ENI, which I see. Or is that easy to? Resource I okay. It's got a link. Got a link right here. As I'm saying, usually they'll give you a link for stuff like that, for whatever is preventing the deletion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, and where I really saw this was when I was trying uh, to delete uh, something in Route 53, because there was something uh, dependent on it, and it was uh, it was provisioned, and it just was, you can't delete it until you delete this other thing. So it's just a process; you have to do it in order. This won't let me delete this one. What's it say? The network interface can't be deleted because it's currently in use. So you got to. I gotta wonder if I've got stuff in. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh here. Um, go, go to view details. Like go on actions, the drop down on yeah. actions. Just go on view details. The associated hmm. elastic IP. It's not associated with anything. Oh, here release. That's what I want. That's it. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. And then you should be able uh, to delete it after that. I know stuff about stuff sometimes. Nice. Gone. <laughs> Sweet. So we should be able to delete the VPC. There we go. There you go. Yeah. Um, Word. And you have to type your delete. Sweet. Yeah. Good thing I did that ENI section. Yeah, nice. Better than some of my previous coworkers. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. So that's finished now. So now I can do terraform. Actually I'm gonna do this is a little bit of a cheat, but um do a it's like the cache. Cash files for Terraform. Cash, cash money. Dollar, dollar bill, yo. Pseudo rm dash rf dot t. Yeah, the dot Terraform is like the Terraform oh, cash. So I need to do uh, Terraform. Okay. And Terraform and knit again. All right. Um... Terraform apply. And then. 
uh, I think just cool my jets as um, it was working. Maybe cool. I'll have one more pot, one more pause, and uh, cool your jets, Mugford. Uh, so should should I pause it now while we're waiting, or is there just one more step well, before the pause? You can form apply and then pause. All it's right. All, it's always the same though. Do 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 money money. Hmm. Hmm. Make sure it starts. Uh, yeah, that looks like it's going. I think you can pause. We can for pause, pause for that. Ah. The end. Ooh. We are back. <laughs> well, this looks like it's doing stuff. It's doing stuff, destroying, creating, destroying, creating. Looks like mostly creating now. Creation complete That's after mostly three. Creating now. Creating, yeah. creating. Workers, auto scaling group getting, workers. Auto scaling group yeah. workers. Getting workers. This is good. Yeah, you're getting close. The yeah. Kubernetes cluster. It's getting close. Worker nodes. Worker nodes. Remember nodes, Worker kids. Nodes. Take it from a node that knows. Oh, there it goes. Nobody's gonna remember that. I remember what you're talking. Oh yeah, that was a uh, commercial in Winnipeg. Domino, I think is across everywhere. Dominoes. Take it from a nose that knows. Yeah. Oh, that was a good joke. <laughs> um. So auto scaling group is good. This is all good. Yep, it's a bunch of auto scaling group worker nodes. Uh, zero 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 zero. What is it? Right. Only zero. Only zero and one. It's only two nodes. It's just binary. Yeah. Well, there's a, there'll be a, it, there would be a three, I think maybe if there was more. But it's asked for two nodes. Oh. Oh yeah, there you go. It worked. There's all your output. Worked. So... Yep. Nice. So there's all the output. So mm -hmm. I'm going to keep that hand, yeah. Oh, there's your... Uh, mm -hmm. There's all my stuff. Your endpoint. Uh, yeah, the endpoint. I can get all this from the console, but... Oh, well, yeah, for sure. Output, 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 uh, oh, and there's, cluster. there's your uh, key. Oh, I don't steal that. Mm -hmm. See the token? Is that what you see? Oh, that's the key. Yeah, the token, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that all worked. So this should actually say created, active. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Education. So you got an, an EK. So you have terraformed an EKS cluster into existence. That's correct. Terraformed a EKS cluster into existence. Nice. All right, where were we here? I don't know. So we set up an initialize. Uh, so you that, did that. Did that already. Did that. Did we made the availability zones auto scaling yeah, group. I have the nodes. Mm -hmm. The nodes. Well, you you in, initialize the Terraform yeah, workspace. That. Provision. Uh, you did that. Did all that. And then gave me all my stuff at the end here, which we were just going through. Configure cube kettle. AWS, I think I have this installed. So is this just going to work out of? Would you oh, yeah, say... okay. So this, so this is a little trick here, actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so you see how it has, it has the output file, right? Yes. One of the things in the output file is the region. Mm -hmm. So the command line is filling out the region with the Terraform query. This is like a query of the output. Yeah. So, uh, and then the same thing for the cluster name. They're both in the output files. Yep. So this should just work. Uh, I don't need that stuff, I don't think. It doesn't say copy it or anything. Whoa. Uh, I just copied and pasted, just copied and pasted that thing, and it gave me a new context. Nice. I have a new I have a new context, which is probably what it says that I do. So that means that my cube cuddle, cube cuddle, cube cuddle, cube cuddle, uh, 
your, uh, your cube kettlefish is, is attached to my cluster, which is the context actually. I don't know. I just learned about context myself. Mm -hmm. Context is uh, how you use cube cuddle to connect to different uh, uh, clusters. And then that's how you're, when you're connected to that context, I think is how they say it. Mm -hmm. um, your your cube cuddle commands are running against this one. Okay. And then I put it into my dot cube config. <laughs> All right, so that part. Nice. So what's the next after that? Deploy and access Kubernetes dashboard. Display deploy oh. Kubernetes metric server. Are you gonna Sorry, do, do I just go I, yeah, I just go right to the code and I think I'll just go kind of shortcut yeah, this. Do it, do if it. you wanna we'll put do the it. link we'll put the link in the description and you guys can read it. All right. You can just send that to me in the Discord uh, after. Yeah. Yeah. Uh okay. So W get to W get the file W get if you use W get S yeah. W get yeah W get dash yeah. zero right W uh, get w dash zero where'd you where'd you uh, write it it says well, W I get dash zero and then the code and then the file the oh file. gotcha okay I didn't I didn't write it I just pasted it I couldn't mm. write all that crap. Well, I was, I was going to say that you had some superhuman typing speed if you did that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but uh, W gets for getting files when you don't want to go through a browser. Yes, sir. W gets. Mm. Mm -hmm. And then, so and then? This, copied, this copied something into this folder. So, mm -hmm. cube cuddle, cube cuddle, apply. Cube cuddle, apply. Uh, Metrics. F metric server da 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 da, mm -hmm. which is what it just copied from the above one. So yeah, and super you've been typing again. Woo! Do it. And now I don't know how much output you get here when it does this, but we'll see. Oh yeah, unavailable. Uh, oh, no, it's, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. I oh, did everything, and this is warnings. Yeah, it's warnings. Yeah, our, yeah, I get our it. back authorization warning. No, it's all good. It did yeah. what it needed to do. Mm -hmm. uh, Looks good. And then see, verify that the metric server has been deployed. Do we have a metric server? What about well, the imperial? What about the imperial server on the dark side? Mm. No, kidding. <laughs> Uh, yes, we have one metric server up and running. Actually, nice. That. That's kind of that's cool. Oh. Mm -hmm. Feels no good. What Feels doing. good. Nobody Maybe. hates K eights. Nobody hates K eights. T-shirts coming soon. Merch um, link in bio. All right, cool. Kind of surprised. I'm surprised it worked. <laughs> that's cool. I knew it. I never had a doubt. And then copy this. What's this one? The following command will schedule the resources necessary for the dashboard. All right, let's do it. Fair. Give me a dashboard. I got to get my 10 cents an hour. Yamo. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well, that's a lot of dashboards being created. Yeah. Nice. Dashboard. All right, what's next? What's I need the... some meatloaf in here. Dashboard by the moon. Dashboard by the. Starting to serve. Oh, you're creating proxy right. server on port one zero zero zero, or is that eight thousand one? Eight thousand one. Uh, eight thousand one. Yeah, mm -hmm. correct. I create a proxy server. That must be the default port. I would presume right? so, yeah. And then it's going to tell me to go here. And we've seen the dashboard before, but I think we did it with uh, Minikube. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
And we have a Kubernetes dashboard. A login. There you go. Seems to be seems to be working the way it says it's supposed to work. We'll continue. Nice. Authenticate the dashboard. What's the do not do, this. do not close the kubectl process in another terminal. So you make a new terminal. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, thank you for reading that. Do that. Do the next one. Uh, so I need another terminal. But do not leave that terminal alone. Yes, and yes, yes. I think this one's this one's already open. Yeah, clear this one out. Mm -hmm. And then what's this doing? Oh, this is giving the role base access control. Our back, I think. Yeah, user created. Yeah, that's exactly what it did. Okay, yeah, it's cool. Exactly. And then it generate R the authorization R token. And you remember our back by Hollerback. The Hollerback girls. Yeah. yeah. Are back, mm, 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 and it's actually mm, kind of funny because it kind mm, of fits. The holler mm, back is the authentication is like, "Hey, it's me." It's like, "Oh, okay, prove it," and then you prove it. Yep. Uh, You're creating your this authentication is getting, token. This is, this is getting the token. Yeah, it, it should show Grep, it and then get uh, secret. Yeah, grep service yeah. controller. There you go. Yeah, now, and then there, now you have a new token. Token. Token for the user. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. Copy that. Copy that. Uh, Copy that, Roger. Yeah. And then go back to the dashboard because I know this part. Oh, yeah. And you want to enter your token there. Enter mm -hmm. the token. So type it out with my super fast typing skills. Wow. So fast. And then sign in. And there's there my... it is. Kubernetes dashboard. The e is silent. Yeah. E is silent in, in Quebec. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see what's left on this thing. Clean up your workspace. Oh, that's it. We got through it. Yeah. Way to go. Holy, Just... holy crap. We got through it. I mean, uh, that's the way that you do that. Yeah. You got so much applause. You don't even know. No. So. Very good. I, uh, I, I, pl I played a, a, I lo a lot of applause sounds there. I will. Uh, I'll leave this on my machine and tear it down, but we don't need to stick around for the tear down. No, stick, we don't. Stick around but, um, yeah, we're, uh, we're at 53 minutes, but we don't have to go quite for an hour. That's okay. I, oh. th I think we did good. Thanks for uh, sh showing us all of this. And, uh, so what is this? This is Terraform and EKS actually deploying. Actually, we did. We did. Yeah, I know. We deployed a EKS uh, cluster using Terraform and mm -hmm. connected to the uh, Kubernetes dashboard. Yeah, and uh, uh, verified it and authenticated it. So uh, gold star, 1,200%. No. Good job, brother. Like and subscribe to the Cloud Brothers for more quality content like this. And we will see you next time. Whoop, whoop. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I see what I'm doing. You know what's happening right now? I don't know. We're on a hot mic. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. I haven't stopped recording yet. I lost my mouse. Where did my, where did my mouse go? I'm so confused right now. Uh, hold on. I got an idea. Oh, this is so weird. My uh, mouse is frozen. Like my yeah. mouse my mouse is moving around within Oh, how'd that happen? Oh, I see what happened. You know what's going on is I must have accidentally, uh, I must have accidentally pressed my, uh, power button on my Linux machine and okay. it took over my mouse. Anyway, oh, yeah. we're ending for real down Linux or not.